I'm Sir Tap Tap, I'm willing to let's play Drive. Um, <coughs> Drive is French to depart from the normal route to go on an adventure. Uh, so, uh, I, I tried and relaunched a couple times. I, I think that music quirk is deliberate. Kind of drives me insane. Um, I'm not sure if it cuts out eventually, but I, I don't think it's anything at my end. I'll... I'll Oh! Oh, thank god. Um, sorry, that that does not please me, but, um... So, the male deer is four Tetris L blocks, but the, the, the female deer is like... It's an unusual smoothing to the camera movement. I don't dislike it, but it's odd. <clears throat> anyway, um, let me explain the game. So this is a, um, this is one of those, it's a walking sim. I'm sorry. Uh, phew, fuck. No! Let's find a different thing immediately. Um, Derive is a small experimental exploratory game made by Tom Davis. This game is for his final project, part of his BA illustration degree. So that's neat. So this is sort of a, you know, final project sort of thing. He says that um, it's not, you know, quite as he envisioned it. Um, it I really gotta say, if that... Oh, thank god. If that static in the music thing is intentional, don't. If it's not intentional, please fix it. The, the other music is decent. I, I don't know what's going on with the... Oh, man. It's like mouse acceleration. I actually don't think I like the smoothing. It's sort of novel, like novel as like a, it's an, it's a, you know, an oddity. Not sure what this is. So we've got some shrines going on. This music reminds me of Quest 64 for some reason. I think it, I think it has some similarities to something like Quest 64. I, I, I still kind of like that game. I know everyone has memories of hating it on N64, but it was like, I'm pretty sure it was my first 3D RPG, and it, I think it kind of was the first 3D console RPG, uh, but it was pretty interesting. Yeah, this is a name your own price, um, what did he call it? Uh, first person exploratory adventure EP, you know, a walking sim. I don't consider that. Um, I don't consider that, like, it was, it's intended as an insult, but it's just become so common, and I just kind of prefer to reclaim the phrase as, you know, as a positive thing. Visually, I really like this game. I'm not sure if there's, like, a point to it. He says, um, what, uh, this was a response to visiting some cemetery in London. My recording window is covering half of the information because I, um, well, it's recovering like one tenth of the information actually, but it's recording that important bit. Ooh, pretty. Does the door open dramatically as we get close to it? No. It's a little anticlimactic. This is giving me major Quest 64 vibes. It, this is reminding me of the final dungeon in that game. It's for some reason. Like, a really bad polygon monster is going to come out and attack us every three steps now. That, this would look really nice enough for the gradient banding. I'm not sure if there's an easy way to fix this. Um, hmm. I don't think there's anything we can do in here. I do have to say, a lot of people shit on Unity. A lot of the games like this would not exist at all. Like, just simple, weird, you know, pay-what-you-want games that look really cool and you know, aren't really like anything else you've seen, would not exist without Unity. And, and I can't really... I have had bad experiences with Unity performance on PlayStation 4. Look at the... look at the treeness. I love this. Um, yeah, visually, I really like this. The atmosphere is pretty good. I don't... oh, we go up, okay. I guess there is sort of a linear planned... Way to go. 
not this. No. I'm so glad there are other music bits in this game because wow. It's Deer Skull Town. Oh, hey. It's freaking Link's house. What's going on, Link? I can't climb the ladder. All right, there's a, there's a zoom in button. Why is the music different for this? So dramatic. Wait, that wasn't it, was it? Maybe it was. It's, it does say it's a short exploratory adventure. So, I mean... Oh, there's the other shield. The f male and female deer shields. Yeah, you gotta have you gotta have both genders of deer shields. Oh, oh, oh! There's a way to go. Okay, the w it wasn't as clearly telegraphed, but okay. Sorry, <laughs> I was I was kind of close to quitting. Oh no, Link! Link is dead, and the bigger on sword is you know just here, and I can't take it because you know it's not that kind of game. It, oh, is that the end? Or maybe now that we've seen this, can we go in the vault? I have no idea if- Ah, oh, this music, why? It's- I mean, it's a student project, I guess, so I mean, I can't be too cruel to it, but, uh... Well, I mean, I could, but I won't. Um... But, damn, visually, I'm loving all of this. I am enjoying having this in my eye holes. I'm not sure if we can go in the things now, or if this is pretty much done. This might be like the only video of this on the internet. I looked, because I wasn't sure if the music thing was just me or not. So I looked for a video of it on the internet. And nah, it's just, it's just me, son. There, there are no, there weren't other videos. Hmm. So this might be it. That's the one thing, the one thing that I don't enjoy about playing games like this is I'm never entirely sure if there is an ending or a, you know, a point. I don't need there to be a point. I just don't want to, you know, be like, you know, trying some like SNES cheat code thing to try and beat the game. Like, you know, oh, maybe if I, you know, rub every plant with my face, like, mmm, delicious. Uh, maybe, you know, a goblin will appear behind on that second door to the right, you know, my, my uncle works at Nintendo and he said, that's how you find, you know, that's how you get to play as Zelda, and that's how Ares, you know, you revive Ares and she kicks Sephiroth in the balls. It, it's real, guys. It is real. I just noticed the pixel clouds. I'm normally a fan for pixel clouds, but honestly, they don't really fit with the the rest of the aesthetic like it's low poly it's not pixely it's, oh there was other things it's mr. badger your lion it's mr. lion badger rest in peace mr. lion badger you died before your time you were among the best this zoom in looks I'm like look I'm like kissing like mm, mm. mr. lion badger oh my Why is all of the music except the, like, default music decent? Like, everything else is good, but that- Ah, this! No! So it's all about graves and stuff. Which makes sense, because it was inspired by a cemetery, apparently. I love these trees. I want- I want to sit under these trees and just chill. Oh! It's like, the horsey nebula. Or not nebula. You know what I mean. Constellation. Let's give kisses. Kiss, kiss. Kiss, kiss, kiss. All, all games need a kiss button. You might kiss the tree. Mm. Mm. Your bark is so firm. Mm. Alright, so let's loop around and go back to our starting place. Maybe if we visit all of the things, the thing will open. I have no idea. Well, now that I've had that thought... It'll bug me if I don't. So. Like, what is going on with that music? Is there a thing? Is this a... Oh, it's just a dead tree. Oh! There is a thing! Can I go in this? 
there probably isn't an end, but... I think I've seen everything there is to see. So I have no idea if that triggers the door to open, or if that door is nothing. Like I said, that's kind of my one big problem with playing all of these weird experimental games. I often have absolutely no idea if there is an ending, and there usually isn't anyone that can really tell me. Like, it's not something they usually say in the descriptions of these. And a lot of times, if I look on YouTube, there's, you know, not much else around. This was pretty cool. I, I, I don't... I'm not sure I'll ever get tired of different low-poly aesthetics. I am pretty damn tired of voxels, like, super low-res voxels. You can do some really cool stuff, but most voxely stuff just doesn't do it for me. But this... This does. This does it for me. See, I don't I don't think we can open this. It's hard to reset. Wait, left shift to stroll. Oh, it's just that just means walk faster, yeah. Not, you know, fast faster, but you know, walking sim faster. I can't tell if no, that's just placebo effects spacebar does nothing. Okay, yeah, this is Derive. It's, you know, just a little chill out. I'm, I'm not sure I approve of that door being there and not opening, unless there is a way to open the door. Please do tell me if there is a way to open the door, or if there isn't, or it will haunt me all of my days, and I shall come back to this earth as a ghost and be like, hey, do you guys know if you can open that door? Because, I mean, I, I, I tried rubbing my face on all the plants, and, and I, don't, I don't even see Sephiroth in this game, and Ares, I'm pretty sure she's dead. And wait, is this a different thing? Or is this the thing that I came in through? This is the thing I came in through. Never mind, Prices averted. Uh, but yeah, this is Jareev, Derive. I, I, I don't know. Ah, not this music. We're not ending with this music. I refuse. No, no triggered the other music. Triggered the not ear bleeding music. Okay. My soul is at peace. But that's pretty neat. You know, it's a free name to pricey thingy, so you know. Can't get too mad at that. Uh, link in the description, as always. <laughs>